What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Thank you guys for clicking on this video, checking it out, and hanging out with me. Seriously, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. You guys have no idea. But in today's video, we are hopping back onto the rank double ladder with this weakness policy colossal team. And this team isn't like a normal colossal team. It is a weakness policy flash fire instead of weakness policy steam engine. So instead of going with like scald or a water move to proc our steam engine, we're just going to proc our weakness policy with a bulldoze with dust cops and roll out from there. We got dust cops on the scene with that trick room, nightshade, bulldoze, now I switch, big old colossal with protect, solar beam, heat wave, and ancient power for stab moves. We got ourselves this grim snarl right here, which grim snarl, I really do like this moveset with me. It's sucker punch for first turn priority, fake out to get that flinches, spirit break as just a nice little attacking move, but it works really well with this dust cops considering it has that eject button and trick. So what the plan would be to do is to trick a Pokemon that we think is going to dynamite Max, just trick him and then bang, give him the eject button and then head Dust Cops potentially go into a Nightshade, hit him and make him swap out. So there we go, we can waste a Dynamax turn just like that, tricking him, give him the eject button, Nightshading and bang, he's gone. He's out of here, eject button out. We got Conqueror over here who is a wonderful Pokemon in rank double battles. Wonderful, so good. He has those two coverage moves with Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, and then he has Stab, Mock Punch, and Drain Punch, Mock Punch, which will give him first turn priority. And he also has Guts and that Assault Vest. So if we can actually somehow trigger the Guts, or let them trigger it, we can roll out and do some big, big damage. We got Corviknight right here. I always love Corviknight. It is just such a bulky defensive Pokemon. But Roost, Bulk Up, Brave Bird, and Body Press. We can eventually just keep bulking up. Roosting, eventually having our defense huge and just going into some big Body Presses. It also has that Lumberry right here. So it cannot go to sleep, cannot get poisoned or paralyzed and all that good stuff. No status conditions or burn. You guys know to deal with that. Also has Mirror Armor. I really do like this ability, Mirror Armor. So as like Intimidate's very prevalent in today's meta. So Mirror Armor can actually bounce back that Intimidate onto to the opposing Pokemon. Then in the final spot, we have Storm Drink Ashton, who's going to work well with this class. So you guys already know the deal. They're going to try to go for a one move on class. So we're going to say, nah, swap them in there and get rolling out from there. But guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, Marthal Code is at the bottom of the screen. And let me know. I'm actually going to ask this question of the day in the beginning of the video because usually I do them at the end for people who don't stick around. That is how I know who sticks around. But for question of the day, I actually want to know feedback from you guys. Like, what do you guys think I should do to actually improve these videos or do something different in order to show you guys more or whatever? Just, I would just want feedback from you guys to know what I have to do better to actually make my content a little bit better. But guys, without further ado, let's hop onto the ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this colossal team. Here we go, hopping into battle number one. He has probably this G-Max Lapras team as the Clefairy. I think I used a team similar to this with the Incineroar, the Clefairy, and the Lapras. Something like this, but I feel like he could Dynamax turn one, so I might actually try to play that trick that we were talking about. Let's actually give that a try. We're going to go Dust Cops in the front spot with Grim Snarl. I'll bring Colossal in the back and then Storm Drain Gastron. I'm thinking that's the play. I'm thinking that is the play. Let's see. Let's see. Do I like that? Do I like it? I feel like it's, it, that can work pretty well. I feel like that can work pretty, pretty well. Yeah, let's roll out with that. Let's roll out with that. But guys, back to like my question of the day. Like sometimes I feel like I'm a little choppy when I'm talking and all that. But when I watch it back, everything seems good. So definitely, I just want you guys to just sit down, relax, and be like, yo, Jeans, I think maybe if you do this a little bit better and instead of doing that, maybe that can actually make your content a little bit more better. But seriously, I'm just trying to grow. I'm trying to expand and make my content better for you guys. So definitely answer this question of the day for me. Also, guys, if you want to check out my streams, I stream five plus days every single week. Ever since quarantine, we've been streaming so much just at random times because my schedule is all messed up. But definitely hit that follow button. Link is in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. Hit that follow button and turn on those notifications so you know when I, I go live. But battle number one, hopefully he does go for like a Dynamax mod in turn one. I'm hoping, I'm hoping because I can definitely go into that trick and then run into that uh that Nightshade. But let's see who he leads. He goes Venusaur and Cliff Berry. Dude, I don't see him Dynamax in turn one. I do not see him Dynamax in turn 1, so there's really no point in doing this. I could just go for a straight Spirit Break, something along those lines. We're going to Frisk. He has Wide Lens. He's just going for Sleeps. He's just going for Sleeps. That's a straight back. Okay, I can actually go for this Trick Room if I really want to. Yeah, let's actually go for this Trick Room. I'm going to go for the Trick Room, and I'm going to fake you out, little boy. I'm going to fake you out. What you want? What you want, Venus? Are you getting that little Clapskies? And I'm setting up this Trick Room. Little fool. Little fool. He's got that Wide Lens, so you know he's just trying to go for those Sleeps right real quick. A little bit of fake out action. It teed off on, buddy. You're flinching. What are you going for? Icy one. Okay, he's going to slow us down. I'm totally fine by that. We're running a trick room. We were running a trick room. Go ahead. Lower our speed for us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Your boy doesn't mind. Your boy does not mind. This actually works better for us. Got some ice. Chilling some ice from my drink. But this actually works better for us considering we have trick room set up and we get the colossal one. Okay, so cool. That works out just as well. 
So he wasn't dying maximum. We can take a different round on that. Beautiful. Here comes Colossal. And we get the trick in. Yo, let's go. A lot of people in the comment section down below has been asking me, like, what, what my rank is. My rank right now, I think I'm, like, 8,000, something along those lines. But like I said, I don't really try to push rank too, too much. I like to play with a variety of teams to show off for the YouTube channel. So instead of just sitting there and playing with one team constantly and just making sure I know that team and pushing the ladder, I like to play a bunch of different teams and show it off for you guys. But sometimes, like, in my Twitch streams, we push rank ladder. We just play with a couple teams. But like I said, I like to use a bunch of different varieties. We're going to go Bulldoze here. here. Get a little bit of Bulldoze action. I'm going to fight. And what do I drop? Do I drop the Heat Wave? Oh, uh, what is his Pokemon? That's the real question. What are, what are his Pokemon? I might, uh, I'm going to actually drop the Heat Wave. I'm going to drop the Heat Wave just for that uh, Lapras so it doesn't come in here and tee off on me. So let's go here. Let's go Flaren. Actually, let's just drop a Rock. Oh. Oh, get it, get it. Did I hit it? Do I, did I hit it? I think I hit it. It's a G-Max one. So who's he going into? Show me going into Sinor. He goes into the Lapras. I'm fine with dropping the Rock on the Lapras. Good call by me to not go into the Flare. To not go into the player at the last second, we go into the G Max Vocalith right here, which is his G Max move considering it's a G Max uh, Colossal. And this kind of kind of works just like a G Max Wildfire, kind of like the Charizard. It just has pester damage, and rocks will actually just deal damage for the rest of this match. But yo, look at that read. I was like, okay, if I go into a rock, it's still going to do big damage on the Venusaur, but he could potentially swap out and just wait this one out. But yo, big damage coming up here. He's going to go for a follow me. Oh, that's totally fine. Then why'd you swap? Why would you swap then? I'm cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. Why would he swap? That is awesome for us. Because if he didn't swap, he just goes follow me and puts my uh, my Colossal to sleep. Okay. You know what, yo? I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We get that weakness policy proc. We can say bye-bye to the Clefairy. And the Vocalith is just going to start teeing off from here. We're just going to go one by one by one. I wish this move had a, a cool looking animation. <gasps> he did not die. Uh, Vocalist is going to uh, deal damage to it. And then I can nightshade it take it out or just just might take it out it's coming close nope let's not get it but yo the vocal is doing some work it's doing some work that's what i love about it. just big old pester damage now we can just go into a nightshade say nope and then we can go into i can go into an overgrowth do i go into an overgrowth or how do i roll out with this there's no way he's expecting me to go have an overgrowth let's do it let's dump on it let's say bye bye to the lapras and then we'll have one more turn with this but is the lapras going to dmax it is going to dmax okay that's fine potential max guard Hey, like, I'm cool with that. It's Dynamax. I'm like, dude, that's so fine. Because I'll have the speed advantage. You can max guard this turn, and I'll go into a heavy hitting move next turn. So, still have that trick room up and roll in strong. And then I have that uh, Storm Drain Gastron in the back. Actually, I should have maybe swapped it to my Storm Drain. I'll do it next turn. I will definitely do it next turn. Let's see what happens here. Just sort of follow me. But the Nightshade's going to pop out here, be able to take that out, and then our, our what's going on? Our over overgrowth is going to roll over top. Which is awesome. Man, we should have swapped into the what's it called. But I feel like he's going to uh, drop a resonance. I feel like he has to drop a resonance to set that over now, right? Let's go. Let's get this. Max overgrowth. Yay. Sending that, baby. Get him. And then we have the vocals doing mean damage. And this is weakness policy shot. Does not get the KO. This thing is so bulky. Get out my face. Get out of my face. This thing is too bulky, buddy. If he goes for Max Geyser, we're done for. We are so done for. Show me no Max Geyser. And he's got weakness policy. We might be done for either way. That's tough news. That's tough news. Let's see what happens here. Mm, the geyser does come out. Man, yo, if we would have swapped Storm Drain, that could have been huge, but it's all good. Bye-bye, Colossal. Colossal gone. I have my Conk. No, I do not have Conqueror. I do have my Gastrodon, and I have my... Uh, who else did I bring? I brought Gastrodon. So who did I... Oh, my Grimstar. I'm going to bring my Grimstar back out here. I could uh, take items and stuff, but the Volklith is just going to start dealing damage all around here, which is going to be wonderful. This Cops is still here chilling. We still have Trick Room on our side. Look at that built. Nice little vocal with damage. And the real question is, do I just go into a uh, Nightshade? I go Grimstone. I could drop a special attack. I could go Sucker Punch. Try to deal some nice damage here. I also have Fake Out. I could go Gastro. Gastrodon. Yeah. Gastrodon. I said we saved Gastrodon. We kind of roll out in here. Because who does he have so far? Who does he have left? He has... Did we just take out the Clefairy? He has a Venusaur and I think that's it, right? Right? Might be correct, yeah. Um, I kind of want to go for a uh, ally switch here. Hmm. Uh, not gonna. Actually, I want to go here and I want to go into a fake out on the Venusaur. And just go from there. Does this Nightshade into the Vocalist should be able to take out the Lapras? Say Night Night to it? I think so. I think so. I'm cool with it. Let's see what happens here. Is Venusaur gonna protect? Venusaur does not protect, so we get another fake out off on it. Look at that. Big old damage with the fake out. Nightshade's gonna pop here. He's probably gonna set the Roar Veil. Oh my god, we almost pick up the KO. That would have been huge if we would have picked up the KO. 
He's gonna try to set this roar barrel. That's fine. Duskops is gonna be able to eat pretty well. Yeah, nice little eats for Duskops. And we're gonna say bye-bye to the Lapras here. Lapras is gone. Get it out of here. Get out of town. And then it comes down to, I think we have one more Trick Room turn. But I also have a bunch of first turn priority moves, at, like Sucker Punch. And I have Nightshade as well. So we could just double up into the Venusaur. That could be nice. Lapras gone. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. I also have Storm Drink Gastron in the rain. It's gonna work pretty well. It's gonna work pretty well. So we can just eat up a shot. Like I said, Venusaur's gotta go. Venusaur 100% has to go here. Um, he's probably going for a Sleep Powder, so there's no point for me to go into a Sucker Punch. Like, there's no point for me to go into a Sucker Punch. Like, it really depends what other Pokemon comes out here. We got rain. I hope it's like it, the what's it called? I hope it's an Incineroar. She do I? It's a mimic here. Okay, it's a Mimi Mims. It's a Mimi Poos. Mimic is kind of scary. Um, how much turns left in Trick Room? One. Okay, we got one. I could go for just a uh, I could double up into this Venusaur, which I am going to do. Mm. Do I go for the Sucker Punch? I'm going for the Sucker Punch. There's no way he's going for the Sleeps. Not a chance. Let's see. Sucker Punch comes through. He does not go for the sleep. Let's get it. Big old damage. This could potentially KO. Nightshade, take him out. Come on, Nightshade. Do him dirty. We need this KO. Let's go. Let's go. Big KO there. We're sitting in a great position for match number one here. Phantom Force is going to pop out. He's going to drop down. That is beautiful. I'm actually going to try to run a Trick Room here. And then, um, actually trick this thing. Actually, I cannot trick this thing because he has, uh, is that we, we would go first. We'll trick it next turn. Just take its item. But I do wonder what its item is. Vocal is still doing some damage to it. Yeah, let's try to set this trick room and then i'll just go into like a spirit break trick room and then into a uh, spirit break let's get it let's go let's go jeans is playing great i'm playing great right now phantom force comes out here on him he might be able to eat he does not eat i'll trick him next turn for sure i'll trick him next turn we'll get this out here he gets a crit yo what you mean see i thought that thing was gonna eat but this dude gets a crit get him out of here get out of my face Mimikyu has the life orb, so this is actually going to take off its disguise. And then I'll bring out Storm Drink Gastron. A big old skull could probably take it out one shot in this ring. But I'm going to trick it right now just to get rid of that thing's life orb. Just, just, just get it out of here. I'm not dealing with the life orb stuff. <laughs> give it to my, uh, I'll give it to my, uh, Grimmsnarl. <laughs> life orb Grimmsnarl. Let's go. Get out there, Gastron. Yeah, that's pretty much GG, baby. GG. Dude, I love playing a variety of teams. Like, I cannot see myself just playing the same team over and over and over again just to push the ladder. I absolutely love just playing a bunch of different varieties of teams. It just, I just feel like it makes the game 10 times better. It just makes the game 10 times better. But we're going to go with the trick. He's probably going to cancel the battle, to be honest. He does not cancel the battle. And we set up this trick. And we say, yo, give me your life orb. And here, you get nothing for it. That's a that's a fair trade. I'm going to obtain the life orb. Player rough comes out here. We could probably eat this now. Yeah. If he had life orb, we were dead. He had life orb, we were dead. Then we go into a sucker punch next turn. It's, 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 game, it's game over. It's game over. Just give me a burn. No burn. But the rain does stop. Rain does stop. We do have sludge bomb on this thing as well. But you don't see that too, too much. But yeah, we got life orb damage coming up here. Big old life orb damage. So we're just going to go into a sucker punches. And we'll go into a EP. Nice little earth power. Into a sucker punch. And that should be game. That should be game. Because he's going to try to take on my Grimstone here. Sucker punch, yeah. Dude, great match number one. Seriously, great match number one. I feel like we played that one so, so well, especially with the uh, the first the first play where the eject button swapped us out into the Colossal. Like, I didn't even really think about that too, too much because I was, I was thinking he was going to Dynamax turn one. But still, that worked out perfectly. And Sucker Punch, Life Orb Sucker Punch, comes in and picks up that KO. Yo, GG to this guy. We come up on top on match number one. We are 1-0. Let's hop into the second battle and try to go 2-0 with this squad. Oh, I'm scared. I am 100% scared. This guy has a Belly Drum Eskew on his hand with a Clefairy. So we got to watch out for that and play it safe here. I think we go into uh, Colossal Turn 1 in case he wants to go for that Belly Drum because I do have Heat Wave. The Follow Me, we can kind of neglect that Follow Me and go into a Heat Wave. But I think that's pretty good. I think that could be pretty good. I say we go Colossal here. And I say we potentially run another Trick Room. Go Dust Cops. Does he have any water? He has no water, so no need for Storm Drink Gash. Now we'll go Calcador in the back. And then we go Grim Snarl or Corviknight. I think Corviknight could be good here as he has a lot of physical attackers. Let's go Corviknight. Let's go Corviknight here. But yeah, gotta watch out for that SQ. I do not want him setting up Belly Drum just early on. So Colossal is going to come in here turn one. We might not even have to Dynamax and just go into a Heat Wave. Or we could trigger our weakness policy and go into a Heat Wave just right then and there. We could do that where I could protect, get the Trick Room, and just go from there. It's going to be pretty tough. Let's see what, let's see what we do. Let's see how it's going to work. But what you want, fool? What you want? He goes Conquador and Clefairy. Okay, I'm cool with that one. I still might just trigger the weakness policy here. 
and just roll out drop a Volkulith. Volkulith could come out here and be pretty strong. Oh, I could protect turn one. What's he have? He has the Assault Vest. Okay. Mm, that's pretty tough because we are... Uh... Hmm. Because we are special attacking. Do I go into the Volkulith turn one? I could just protect and see what he does. I think I am going to protect. And then go into the Trick Room. Yeah, yo, let's go. Trick Room here. I'll protect. Go into a Trick Room. I gotta get my Bulldoze off soon. I do have to get my Bulldoze off soon. Let's see this. We'll go. We'll try to get this Trick Room off. I don't really see, like, Conqueror doing too, too much. He might Dynamax turn one. And just try to boost his uh, attack with a Max Knuckle. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see. We'll see. Oh, it goes Helping Hand. Yo, show me you're going after my, uh... My Colossal. You gotta be going after my Colossal, right? Yeah, yo, protecting, baby! You gotta be going for a big old Drain Punch. Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! Free Trick Room for us! That's huge, that's huge. So we get the Trick Room up. Uh, do I Dynamax this turn? That's a real question. There's no way you're going into another Helping Hand. We got the Trick Room up, baby. What you want, fool? <laughs> I'm gonna go into that Volcalith. Mm, do I go into the Volcalith? Then I'm gonna up. Um, I got a bulldoze. Definitely got a bulldoze. I might actually go into the flare. Set the flare. Just see how that rolls and go after this called fairy. Trigger that weakness policy. I think we're we're, we're pretty much showing here. Let's go. Dynamax, yeah. Let's go Dynamax into the flare. I mean, I'd rather drop it on this thing, but if he goes for to follow me, I'm cool with it. And do, do I ally switch? No, I'm gonna bulldoze. I'm gonna bulldoze here, cause I don't think one straight up drain punch is going to take me out. I don't think it's gonna take me out. He still, he actually might go for a helping hand here. He might go for a helping hand, but he has a soul vest, which is tough. Which is tough. The soul vest is kind of tough. But there we go. G Max Colossal coming out here. Yo, I love Colossal teams for some reason. Like, I always love the Steam Engine side. Like, it took me a while to actually play it. I always love the Steam Engine one, but I, I kind of like this G Max without the Steam Engine one. Like, we have Flash Fire. I don't think a lot of people are expecting it. But there it goes. He goes to the follow me, which I'm fine with. The Drain Punch isn't just going to dump on us. So we're chilling, and eventually I can just go into a Nightshade. And just be able to uh, take out that Clefairy. If it doesn't die here. If it does not die here. Like I said, we have the Trick Room. We are chilling. We're looking good. And we do have Flash Fire. So no fire is going to come in here. No fire is coming in here. But what it, what the Flash Fire actually really works well with. Is with we're reading a fire move coming in. But there we go. Max Fire. Especially with the with the Drought out here now. Clefairy does not go down. What you mean? What you mean? Clefairy does not go down. Alright, we'll be able to eat up the Strain Punch though. Yeah, 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 yo, we eat that all day. That's fine by me. Nightshade can come in from here. And then, the, or do I ally switch? No, we got a Nightshade. We have to go, uh, I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna get a double kill here. We're gonna get a double kill here. We're gonna go Nightshade into Clefairy, because he's probably gonna go for another follow me. Which I'm totally fine with, because the Nightshade's just gonna pop out here. Boop. See you later. And then Conqueror actually might protect. Maybe I should just drop the vocal with just to get that running, but we can get it next turn. We do have three turns. I just gotta make sure I don't hit the G-Max Pokemon. That's the thing. I know I'm on my G-Max and then, uh, what's it called? And then Max Guard, in order to just neglect my last turn. But I definitely want to get this Volkalith out before my G-Max ends, considering I can just do pester damage throughout the match for the next four turns after this. That's what's huge. That's what is so good about, like, these G-Max nudes, is that I can just pester without even doing anything. Like, it's just like a big poison, kind of, for four turns. Max Fire comes out here. Whoa, oh, yo, you're slow. Wait, I thought I went to Nightshade. Oh, you didn't go into, wait, what just happened there? Wait, huh? Did I not go into Nightshade? Wait. What just happened? Why didn't my Nightshade go for- I'm so confused. Oh no, Nightshade's not a first turn prior- Okay, okay, no. I was getting confused with Shadow Sneak. Oh my lord. What am I doing? I just got it so confused with Shadow Sneak. I was saying that in the last... You guys are probably yelling at me through the screen. They're like, Jeans, it's not first turn priority. It's Nightshade. Why did I get it confused with Shadow Sneak? <laughs> you guys are probably like, Jeans, what are you doing? You're dumb. It's all right. It's all right, gamers. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're here. We're going to win this match regardless. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. <laughs> I was sitting there. I'm like, wait a minute. How is he going first? And I'm surprised that Flare didn't kill. That Assault Vest definitely kept him, kept him alive. Um, I definitely see a Max Guard coming out here. To be honest, I definitely see a Max Guard coming out here. So I'm actually just going to Volkalith, and then... I go for an Ally Switch. I'm gonna go for an Ally Switch here. 
I think he's gonna guard. I really do think he's gonna Dynamax into the guard. And then we're gonna drop the Volklith on that side. And he's gonna miss a Drain Punch coming over on me. And then we can actually get another turn, which is actually huge. Come on, show me that the Gene's calls are right. He's got a guard. He's got a guard, right? Thinking that we're just dumb one. Let's see, you got a guard. If you don't guard, you are like some type of genius. Let's see what happens here. Now I switch. He does not guard. <gasps> no! No way you don't guard. Mock Punch comes through. Does not affect me. And then Volkleth comes out. Man, dude. He didn't guard. He didn't guard. That is whack. That is whack. Show me you're going over after my desktop side. Or not not towards him. Phantasm comes out here. And he's gonna actually can we eat? We do not eat. Mm, ah! Dude, I totally thought he was guarding. Okay, it's fine. We do have the trick room here. Trick room's chilling. And how many turns left in trick room? Maybe one? I think we have one left. I think we have one. Dragapult is life orb. It's life orb. Volkalit's gonna eventually take down this Conquador. And my Dust Cop should be able to go first here. So we can actually take out the Conquador. He actually is probably gonna go for a mock punch. So should I not even worry about it? And go into a big old ice punch here? We could do that. Big old ice punch coming out here. Save my Corvo Knight for that back end. For sure. For sure, Corvo. Hmm. I say we just oh, wait, let's let's check the let's check the trick room. One more turn. Okay, we got one more turn. I say we just go into a nightshade here. And then we just go into a big old ice punch. We might actually try to read the ally switch again. But Conqueror's gotta go into a mock punch, right? Either he goes into a mock punch. There's no way he waits this one out. Maybe I should have applied pressure with the with the nightshade. But I think he just goes into a mock punch regardless. That's my call, that's my call. I'm trying to make like a small little read to help us out so we can double up into this dragon bolt. We go for the mock punch. He does go for the mock punch. Okay. There we go. Exactly what I wanted. Nightshade comes out. Boop. The Volkalith is going to take that out. And then Ice Punch is going to do some big old damage here. Yoink. Let's get it. Let's get it, baby. A crit. Ooh wee. And Volkalith might actually pick up the double kill. Oh, that could be so nice. Volkalith. Yeah, Volkalith is going to pick up the double kill here. Conqueror. That's all good. He went down. Life Orb damage is going to take from him. Volklet's going to take them both out, and then I can bring out my Corv Knight in the back end. Hopefully, it is a physical attacker. If it's a physical attacker, we kind of have this one just wrapped up in the bag. And we go 2-0. and oh. Man, yo, I'm loving this team. I am loving this team, even though I thought Nightshade was Shadow Sneak for this whole video up until this point. <gasps> what you mean? Bro, what you mean? That is so whack. That is terrible. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? I'm not gonna set the trick room. I'm not gonna set the trick room. I'm just gonna go for a bulldoze here. Just to take off the disguise, take out the dragon pole, and do I roost or bulk up? Mmm, I might roost. I think I roost. He's gonna try to hit me. Oh my lord. Bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. That dragon pole's legit on one HP. Don't tell me I lose the match because of this. Phantasm comes out here. I'll tell my Duskops. That's cool. Duskops are able to eat. He does not eat. Ooh, wow. It's okay. He's dead. I'm going to be able to actually roost up here. Mirror Armor is going to actually bounce back on him. That's fine. And then he's clear body. But Dragon Pole goes down. It comes down to a 1v1. Maybe I should have bulked up. Maybe I should have bulked up. But it really depends how much damage he does. He really one tap my Clopsy Poo like that? Jeez. Jeez. All right. It happens. I think it's because we were already lowered. Oh, my Lord. No. Thing just swords danced up on me. Okay. Okay. Alright, it happens. It happens. Might start bulking up. <laughs> it's coming down, yo. <laughs> this is a close one. Volko is doing some damage, okay. So it's still it's still around here. He swords dance. That little booger. That little booger. Uh bulk up. We gotta bulk up, right? We gotta bulk up here. Let's get the bulk skis. Oh man. Ooh, we. There's. Do, you, do we think he's Swords Dance again? He's going to Swords Dance again. I'm just gonna have to keep bulking up. I'm gonna have to start matching him. It's the only way. Dang, yo! If that bulldoze came off. Oh, he's Swords Dance again! No, no, no! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! <laughs> oh my God! He's, 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 he's gonna Swords Dance again. I'm just gonna have to keep bulking up. Tough news. Tough news. Dang, yo! I thought we were for sure going two and zero here. Whack sauce. Whack. 
We gotta bulk up again. We gotta bulk up again. Does he hit me here? I think he sword stances again. He taunts me. Yo, dude, this boy. This boy, he's got this in the bag. Oh my lord. We gotta go for a brave bird. Like, we have to go for a brave bird here. We have to hope he misses his, uh, one of his attacks. In order for us to win, he has to miss. The fact. What's he gonna go for? Sword stance. Ah! <laughs> Oh no, we need him to miss his next attack or somehow we eat this one up. Let's see what happens here. Vapor comes out here. We're gonna take off that, that disguise. We probably maybe could have picked up the KO if the bulldozer was here. Disguise drops. Oh, oh no. And I thought we played this one well too. Okay, comes down to the wire here. Can Jeans do it? This thing's plus six. Come on, miss. I need to see the miss. Oh my lord. Miss, 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 miss. Phantom Force, he drops. Um. Hmm. I, like, I, I need him to miss. Like, and I don't know if this move misses. Do I roost? No, because if I eat up, I have to hit him. Right? If I eat up, I have to hit. I don't think we eat up. Phantom Force comes out. Ah! We eat! Corvo, take him out. Come on, Corvo. Come on, Corvo. Do him dirty! Let's go! Ah! Let's go, yo! Corvette eats up a plus six Phantom Force. This is why we brought him. Big defensive tank in that back end. GG 2 and 0 with this team. Here we go, guys. Hopping into the third and final battle. Technically, it is our fourth battle. Our last battle after that second battle, I went to a third one. I actually ended up making the guy quit in like three turns. It was just I dumped on one of his mods and it was game over. But I was just like, I don't even want to show that off. I'd rather give you guys a full match. But here we go. This will count as our third battle. Let's see if we can go 3-0 and oh for this video. This guy has Tokus. He has a Trick Room team of his own. He has a Trick Room team of his own. Potentially a uh, Sleep Powder Roserade right there. But who do I really want to play here? He has that Rotom, which Rotom is kind of scary. Rotom is kind of scary. Um, He might go Incineroar. Turn one, I don't really know. I definitely want to bring that what's it called in that Corviknight. The Corviknight in the back end. Hmm. He has Togekiss. He has, I think I just go Colossal uh, Dusclops. It's such a good combo. It's such a good combo. Um, Where do I go with that uh, that trick? I could potentially bring that... Uh, hmm. He's going to go Togekiss, I think, Dusclops, maybe turn one. Do I, I'm not even going to bring the Dusclops. I'm not even going to bring the Dusclops. Actually, I, got, I need him to trigger that weakness policy. Yeah, let's actually, yeah, we gotta bring Dust Cops. And we're running out of time. I want Conkador. I don't really need... I'm gonna go Corviknight. I don't think I really need Gashon too, too much here. I think we're chilling. I think we're doing just fine. I think we're doing just fine. But yeah, this is actually our fourth battle. We technically are 3-0. Oh, I am now ranked like 4,200. We're getting up there. We're getting up there. Like I said, if I actually want to try, I can actually push pretty high. My highest ever push was top, like, I was above the 1,000 mark. Like, right there, I was like... A little, I was in like the 900, but that that's was like season two when I was full out trying. It goes Rose Raid into Togi Poo. Um, I don't even, I gotta run Trick Room now, right? I gotta run the Trick Room. Yeah. I gotta run it. I gotta run it. Mm, gotta run it. Okay, we see Focus Sash and Scope One. So, bruh, scary, scary stuff here. Scary stuff here. Let's roll that and let's roll the Trick Room. Let's roll Trick Room. I don't know if I should ally switch next turn. I definitely am going to drop the Vocalith on something. I think I just dropped the Vocalith on that uh, Togekiss. So it doesn't just go for follow me. Sleep Powder comes out. Oh, on, on my... Bruh. Bruh, on you. And he lands it. That's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. Wake up, Dust Cops. Wake up, Dust Cops. Dust Cops, I need you here. This thing's going to start critting me and going off on me. Ah. Bruh. Leave me alone. Wake up, Dust Cops. Okay, Dust Cops does not wake up. I can potentially see a Sleep Powder coming in here. That's scary. Do I swap? I swap into my Lumberry Corvo. No, I say we just go. We, we just go for a heat wave here. Just go for a heat wave. Mm, mm, ah! Someone wake up! He's gonna put me to sleep now too. Miss, bro. He lands two. This thing's not even scope lens. No, no, no. He's not even wide lens. Like, what you mean? This thing's just landed everything. Watch, gonna make me flinch. Gonna make me flinch. That's a crit too. That's whack. I'm probably still asleep, so it doesn't even matter. Oh, wake up. Set the trick room. Mm. Bruh. This thing landed double sleep powders? All for me. Um, I'll just go for this protect. I'm gonna go for the trick room again. What you mean? 
so whack. This game is so whack. He's gonna withdraw the Rose Raid. I'm totally fine by that. We're going for his protect. He goes right here. He goes right here. I'm trying to set this trick in here. Fossil wakes up and I protect. Mmm, whack. I should have went into like something big. Fossil protects itself. Air Slash comes through. He's gonna make me flinch. I'm gonna cry. Another crit, dude. Get out of here. Dust Cops wakes up and Trick Room gets off. Okay, we get the Trick Room off. The real question is, who's slower? <laughs> That's the real question. That is the real question. He's going to go for Follow Me. I'm actually just going to drop a Vocalith here. He's got to go for Follow Me, right? And I'm going to just ally switch here. I'm just ally switch. I'm gonna find out who's slower here. No need to trigger that weakness policy. We don't really need it. We'll say bye to the Dusk Ops. And we'll figure out slowy stuff and all that. Because I think we're gonna see double Dynamax, and that makes me think. If he's Dynamax in here, that's making me think we're chilling. Because I think the G Max Colossal is will be slower than that. These two are like the same Pokemon. They look the exact same, just like different gens. Let's see, is he Dynamax in as well? We are. Okay, so we are slower, so that means we do have first turn priority. In the trick room, which is awesome. Which is awesome. I could just went for it, but I think a follow me is coming out here. This is why I'm dropping the Volkalith over on the Tokus. Should have bulldozed. I should have bulldozed. I should have bulldozed. Yeah. Bam and new. Ally switch. Yeah, yo. Give me that. We get that ally switch. I don't want to trigger his weakness policy, too. So if we can go weakness policy for weakness policy. Follow me comes out. Yeah, this is why I dropped the Volklet. Hopefully we can do some big damage, potentially pick up the KO. Let's see what happens here. Big a whole Volklet. Yeah, yeah. Get him. Get him. Boop. Um, Volklet might be able to take out. But if not, I can just go into a Nightshade and be able to take that out. Yeah. But it's not a big deal. Surrounded by rocks. He goes to the Quake over on my Clops side. Okay, that's cool. There's no way you read the Ally Switch, right? Okay, he does not read the Ally Switch. And down goes Dusky Clops. Down goes Clopsy Boop. Okay, so, mm. and the real question is, who do we bring out here? Whom do I bring out here? He boosts his uh, special defense. That's kind of tough for me. I don't I do not really want to trigger that thing's weakness policy. I don't know how I should really roll out with this. I could go Corviknight. I could go in with a uh, Mach Punch just to take out that. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Look at all that super effective. Everything's super effective around here. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to Mach Punch this token kiss. They get out of here. Just give them the, the, old, mwah, the old saucy slaps. Um, yeah, let's see, um, punch. Take that thing out. And then, do I go overgrowth? I say I do overgrowth here. Hmm. Yeah, let's go, let's go with that. I don't want to follow me and just screw me over, you know what I'm saying? Follow me comes out, yeah. This is a good thing we did go into the mock punch. Mock punch is going to be able to take it out, and then our overgrowth is going to slide over. This is tough. Is this thing weakness policy? I think he's, he's got to be weakness policy because if not, he's he's not life orb. Like, what else is he holding? He's weakness policy. And we're going to trigger his weakness policy and he's probably going to take out my Colossal, which is kind of scary here. Which is kind of scary, but still. I'm going to be able to do some nice damage to him. Mm. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Maybe he was trying to read a guard. Maybe, maybe that. That could be the case. There's the weakness policy. Ugh. Ah, leave me alone. Get off of me! Oh, you dare quake on me. Leave me alone. Eat it up. Eat it up, buddy. I got faith in you. I do not have faith in you. <laughs> Go on. He's gone. Yo, just got dumped on. This thing's got boosted special defense right now. It's like, ugh. This thing's like sitting in such a pretty spot. Probably the slowest Pokemon on the field now. Comes down to a 2v1, and he has his Rosary. Or not 2v1. Comes down to a 2v3. He sells one more Dynamax turn. Covenant, get out here. Covenant. The scary part is the Rosary, kind of. I am slower. I could just go into, like, an Ice Punch. And the Vocalist is going to start doing some damage out here. Covenant comes out here. Let that Vocalist tee off a little bit. He sends out Rosary. Will Rosary take Vocalist damage? I hope so. That'd be very, very nice. Where was my Vocalist damage? Did it not pop out here? Or is it gone? Hold the phone. Where's that Volklet? I didn't see it pop out. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I don't know. Um, b -b 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 go for an Ice Punch. He's gonna put me to sleep. I have a Lumberry, so I'm gonna go here. I'm actually going to uh, take you out. 
Let's see just what happens here. Dream punch. Oh, I'm surprised he goes first. He's slower. Okay, that's pretty cool. Flare's coming out here. Oh, man. You're rocking out with the flare ski. You guys should have roosted. He's dead. This is game. No. No, we go two and one with this team. Whack sauce. Whack. Oh, that was actually a pretty good battle. That was actually a pretty good battle, to be honest. It's just that right here is just so strong. Everyone knows he is the king of trick room. You, you land three sleep powders. Yo, come on. Come on, man. I'm always missing sleep powders. Yo, guys, let me know if you guys are always missing sleep powders if you do not have wide lens. Like, I was using a rosary team even with wide lens, and I was still missing. This guy went three for three on his sleep powders. Yo, get out of here. Get him out of here. He's trash. You're trash, kid. You're good, kid. Like, bruh. Three of them? I call hacks. Nah, I'm just playing. Just playing. But is there a chance? No, it's not a chance. We are asleep. But yo, I'm gonna actually save my Conqueror and make sure he stays alive. Don't hurt this man anymore. But we go two and one with this team. Basically three and one. I didn't want to show off that clip of just like a five second match. It was just like, bro, no need, no need. But yo, GG to this guy. The recent teams I've been playing, I've been absolutely loving on a ladder. No difference for this team. We crushed it actually today. Three and one with this team. Two and one on the video. So solid. Not bad at all. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.